oftentimes, people see the media's watchdog function as just scrutinizing government and how the public purse is used. Of course, holding political and public officials accountable is crucial, but it bears reminding that in a democracy, other sectors of society, from business to traditional authority to non-governmental organizations, must also be held accountable. Today, in fact, almost at this same moment, almost at the same moment, the Ghana Integrity Initiative is releasing the 2017 Corruption Perception Index. I'm not sure how we will perform this year because the embargo, did, they didn't let us see it. They will let us know at six o'clock today. But the 2016 index, which was released in January last year, ran Ghana 70 out of 176 countries and also indicated we had dropped by four percentage points from the previous score of 47 points to 43 points out of a, a clean score of 100 points. So if you're like me and you consider 50% a pass mark, it means we failed in 2015 and we failed even more in 2016. But ladies and gentlemen, beyond indicators such as this one, there's a general perception amongst Ghanaians, perhaps I should say a, a consensus that corruption is on the rise and that we must fight against it. And that's where good investigative journalism becomes very important. We need good investigative journalism, not only to fight corruption, but also perhaps to expose the structural and systemic conditions that encourage corruption and that undermine our development. Here, as in elsewhere in the world, investigative journalism outcomes have been known to trigger change. It's led to the firing and resignation of public officials, as we saw happen in the case of the judiciary here in Ghana. It can lead to the prosecution of corrupt individuals, which I think doesn't happen enough in this country. It leads to policy enactment and reversals, and most importantly, it can enhance the watchdog role of the media. So ladies and gentlemen, you will agree with me that today's lecture, which is titled Investigative Journalism, Emerging Issues, Practice and Challenges, is both pertinent and timely.